of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the Long Rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. This is one of the Mingo's false faces. It was found near the scene of one of their most recent crimes, an attack upon an army supply wagon. They seized a number of army rifles. Their robbing and looting has covered a wide territory, but most of the activity seems to have been centered around the village of Sawyer. Hawkeye, you know those Indians in that territory better than anybody else. I want you to go there and put a stop to it. Bring the chief and those responsible back here for trial. Well, I wouldn't be too sure the Mingos are really behind all this, Major. It's obvious, isn't it? That's a Mingo mask. And that's a Mingo encampment just a few miles from Sawyer. Mingos are a peaceful tribe. Men of honor, not steel. In this instance, Chingachgook, your faith in your Red Brothers is not substantiated. These reports are from Captain McIntyre, who's in charge of the post at Sawyer. In every case, the victims describe the wearers of the masks as Indians. False faces are like medicine man. Heal sick. Bring peace to soul of Indian when in trouble. That's right, Major. I have neither the time nor the patience to argue the superstitious habits of the Indian. These are the cold hard facts. Investigate them. Go to Sawyer, track down these thieves. Report to me when you've made any progress, and I'll back you up with full military assistance. Just as soon as I find out anything, I'll let you know, Major. Good luck. Good luck. My husband had good day in forest. Very good. See? For lovely bride. Raven hunt much. That much. Raven made good home for... No, Raven. They only false faces. What false faces? You from far away tribe. You not know Mingo false faces. I'd see them since I was child in father's village. They medicine man. Bring good medicine. Must honor them. They chase away evil spirit. of Raven grateful for your visit. Snowbird will fix food. Get water. We'll hurry. Raven, not Mingo. Come from far tribe, not know of false faces. Snowbird make molasses and honey. Maybe false faces like? Why false face do that? Snowbird, take Snowbird only a little while to fix. place if you're looking for a new rifle, my friends. Just got in a brand spanking new shipment. Oh, you ain't never seen rifles like these. Easy loading, fast, shoots as true as a mule's kick. Here, look it over. Hit good gun. Ain't a better shooting iron to be found this side of the Atlantic. Well, what do you say? Want it? 
Me want. Only one trouble. No have money now. No money? What do you come in here for? Waste my time like this, then? No waste time. Take rifle, shoot animals, bring furs here, pay for rifle. Oh, no, you don't. No half-breed engine and a squaw are coming in here with a yarn like that. Gold on the barrel head or there ain't no deal. Happy Jack Seeley. That sign make him sound like man who make much talk. Maybe he know about false faces. It's as good a place to start as any. Storekeeper usually knows what's going on in the territory. We go and find out. We not lie. We pay for gun, but need help because of false faces. What do they got to do with all this? False faces hit husband, steal rifle, fur, gold, leave us nothing. Why, tell me all your troubles. You're a Mingo, ain't you? Yes. Why don't you go back to your tribe? They're the false faces. They got you into this, let them get you out. False faces who rob us, not Mingo. Mingo false faces good medicine, not evil spirit. Yeah, sure, sure, I know. I got cash customers to deal with. You two get out. Well, what can Happy Jack Seeley do for the two of you? What's the matter with them? Oh, they come in here trying to get a rifle and credit. Claim they was done in by some Mingo false faces. Young Squaw is right. Mingo false faces, not steal. <laughs> I hate to see you get took in by your red brothers, but just ain't so. Them Mingos wearing masks been terrorizing the whole territory. But that ain't neither here nor there. You come in for some supplies or something? Oh, might say we're just passing through, heading out west, do a little trapping and scouting. Wonder if there wasn't any uh, army scouting we could do around here. Thought maybe you could tell us who to contact. Sure, that's easy. Captain McIntyre's your man. McIntyre? Yeah, you find him over at the post. Thanks. We'll see if he's got some work for us. You do that, mister. And if you need any supplies, gunpowder, flour, salt, don't forget, Happy Jack Seeley be glad to provision you. We'll remember that. I wonder what them fellas really wanted. I don't know, Jack, but I have a feeling they don't mean no good to us. You know them? Seen them back at Camp Wilderness once. Hawkeye and Chingachgook are their names. Done a lot of scouting for Major Adams up there. Major Adams? He's the one that's been riding Captain McIntyre about cleaning up the false faces mess. Wonder if he sent them here. I told you we shouldn't have stole them army rifles. Them rifles is like gold to us, Kling. They ain't gonna get us into any kind of trouble. Go get one of them rifles out of the packing case and back. What are you gonna do? Well, you know that half-breed Injun and his squaw that wanted a rifle? You ain't gonna sell it to him. Oh, of course I ain't gonna sell it to him. I'm gonna give it to him. On credit. Sorry, my dear fellow, but we really have no need for scouts at the post at this time. Well, that's too bad, Captain. My partner and I were hoping to get a little work before heading west. I'd like to help out anyone in the territory, of course, but uh, under the circumstances, I'm sure you understand? Sure. Thanks just the same. Say, uh, I was just thinking. Yes? Well, uh, Chingachgook and I know the Indians in this territory pretty well. Wonder if we couldn't help you out with a false face problem. Just what business of yours are the false faces? Well, none, necessarily. I just heard you were having a little trouble with them, that's all. I can handle these Mingos without any outside assistance, thank you. Then, uh, you figure the false faces are Mingos. Oh, no doubt about it. I sent a request to Major Adams for reinforcements. I'm planning a full-scale attack on the Mingos this very moment. Well, I'm glad to see you've got everything well in hand, Captain. Thanks for seeing us. What 
you think, Hawkeye. Well, everybody seems to be pegging the Mingos for this false face business. You believe that? It doesn't seem reasonable, knowing the Mingos the way we do. Well, maybe we better go to Mingo tribe. Get answer there. So far, no answer here. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. Look. That is same brave and squaw we see before. Only now they have new rifle. Yeah, I wonder what made Happy Jack Seeley change his mind about giving him one. That is not hunting rifle. Well, that looks more like the kind of rifle the Army's been using. I think we better get acquainted with these people. Hey, Clink. Looks like things are working out even better than we figured. Four strangers carrying with them an army rifle recently stole from Captain McIntyre's post. You know something, Kling? I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we'd just been looking at the four false faces Captain McIntyre's been looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Raven Cabin, this way. Mingo Village, over there, near Big Pines. Thanks for showing us the way. Mighty obliging of you. Be happy to do. Good luck to you. I hope the rifle helps you to prosper. It's good gun. We get on credit. Mr. Seeley, good man. Well, maybe he is. I not understand how Seeley get army rifle and change mind and give to Raven. Yeah, that's something we're gonna have to find out. How we find that out at Mingo Village. We've gotta make sure that we're right about the Mingos. We don't know what kind of trouble we'll have to run into. We might need some help before we're through. False faces not traders, not hunters. They medicine men of tribe. So we are, Chief Sanchu. I just wondered if they ever got out and picked up a little tribute here and there. No. False faces never leave tribe. Stay in camp. Help sick. Help chief. We know. But other people not believe. Me know. Here pale face soldier blame Mingo for bad men that steal. Kill. Go on warpath. If so, we go on warpath too. That's not the answer, Sanju. War parties will never settle anything. But we wanted to make sure that we could count on your help if we needed. You need help, call on Mingo. We help. Here. This bring good medicine to Raven and Snowbird. If Manitou bless gun, we get many furs. If false faces, no take. Raven ready now. No fear, false face. There they are, Captain. They're the ones. Let me see that gun. That's my gun. Why you want? Let me have it. Raven, please, do as pale face soldiers say. That's one of them, all right. You two, search every inch of the ground around. See what you can find. Why take rifle? Why search? How do you explain this stolen army rifle in your possession? That no army rifle. He sell to us. <laughs> There's a laugh for you, Captain. It won't do you any good to lie. A confession now will save a lot of time and trouble later. You talk like mountain mist. Nothing clear. Oh, come now. You know your husband's the leader of the false faces. You say we false faces? You deny it, after we found this in your possession? And after he was stupid enough to try and sell it to me in my store, too. Lucky thing I recognized it as one of your army rifles, Captain, and could tell you about these two. No, you're wrong. He sell us rifle. He give to us. That's a likely story. I suppose I sold them to you, too. I now place you under arrest for the crime of stealing Crown property. 
Just us, Snowbird. My husband. Soldiers call him False Face. Take him to post for trial. We know. On way back from Mingo Village, we see. They hang him. That's why Snowbird going to Mingo Tribe. They save Raven. Go on the war path? That won't help. The only way is to get proof. How long ago was it the False Faces made their attack on you and Raven? Three sons now. Maybe trail not too old. We look. Let's find out. Two men stand here. Those are pale face tracks. Stand here, look at cabin. They went this way. See, the trail leads in that direction. Not hard to follow. Take too much time. Maybe nothing at end of trail. Snowbird get Mingo's. They save Raven. It's no good, Snowbird. It'll just lead to bigger trouble. Raven in biggest trouble now. Nothing else matter to Snowbird. If Mingo have to go on warpath, they will go. empty. Wait. We see. Tell a story. If we could only prove who wore him. Raven not wear false face. He is good man. This show that Seely wear false face, but hard to prove. He lied too good. He lies too good for Captain McIntyre, but I'm not so sure about Major Adams. We tell Major truth. I'll tell him. You try to hold the Mingos off until I get back. Hawkeye and Chingachgook are still loose. I wasn't figuring on them stepping into things now. Well, figure on it. The three of you get back to the hideout. Headquarter there until you find out what they're up to. And when you do, see that they don't get back into this village. Are you sure you haven't been following a false trail? Well, I'm sure of one thing. If you don't do as I say, an innocent man is liable to die. Immediately followed by a full-scale war with the Mingos. I promised you full military cooperation. But I feel Captain McIntyre is eminently qualified to handle the matter. He will do so without any interference from me. I ask you once more to look at that crate of guns. Have you ever seen them before? Only when you take me prisoner. But you do admit they were found by these two men in the woodshed behind your cabin? I not put there. But you do admit they were found there? Yes.
prisoner, this court has now heard all the evidence. We have found it undeniably conclusive. But before this court gives its verdict, I will ask this question of you. Do you wish to change your plea to guilty? Raven, no steel gun. Not false face. Raven, innocent. Very well. Raven, it is the considered judgment of this military court, on the basis of the evidence presented before it, that only one verdict can be reached. Hold it a minute, Captain. You're jumping the gun. I figure someone ought to stand up for Raven. The only thing you'll stand for here is to stand trial. Guards, seize that man. What's the meaning of all this? You see, Captain, all the evidence in this case has been presented by only one man. Only seems right that Raven should have some witnesses on his side, too. Bring him in, Chingachgook. There's no reason to get excited, Captain. The way I see it, they're going to make real good witnesses. You talk. See, these men are false faces. Seely is leader. He is guilty one. So that's your witness, Snowbird. Raven Squaw. Naturally, she'll stick with her husband. There's no evidence here. Call your soldiers in. Arrest them all. A pack of thieving, sneaking. You're jumping the gun, Seely. Snowbird is a witness. She was there when you sold the army rifle to Raven, so he'd be accused instead of you. But we have other witnesses. Suppose you talk. Come on, talk. Squaw is right. Seely's the leader of the false faces. He's the one who figured the whole thing. I'm only his hired hand. I was just following orders. What kind of evidence is that? Somebody in a mask accusing me. Let me see him. Let him look at me and say that. All right, Seely. It's no trouble at all. You all know who this is. Your hired hand, Seely. Haven't you got something else to say, Kling? Maybe about those rifles? Yeah. Me and two others of Seeley's men put him behind Raven's cabin. It was Seeley's idea. The engine had nothing to do with it. It's only his word against mine. You can't believe him any more than you can believe me. Maybe so, Seeley. But here's two other of your pals. And they'll back up everything that Kling says. Got any questions you want to ask, Captain? Arrest those men. Court dismissed. Afraid I owe you an apology, Hawkeye. Guess I've been very foolish. Captain, if I had a beaver skin for every mistake I made, I'd have the Hudson Bay Company working for me. Seely, wear false face whole time. Not easy for a man to see through false face but easy for squaw. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> <laughs>